Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to watch may be a little disturbing. And if you're a squeamish person, I recommend you turn off the video now. Anyway, welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. We got to revisit one of my favorite GameStop shill clown YouTubers, Morantz Rants. Because he's been engaging in some very suspect activities with somebody who is, uh, let's say, not of the age of majority. So Morantz here, my hero, Mr. GameStop, went out to Santa Monica and filmed himself talking to various people, shilling GameStop. Let's watch a very fast clip, and then we're going to dive into the meat and potatoes of this exposed video, because Morantz rants is kind of a disgusting perf. Let's watch. All right, guys, welcome back. Yeah, I know. I'm still here. Don't worry. I have lead feet today. I'm not even moving. I got Germany coming to me. Now, these guys are from Germany. What's your name? Athlete. Athlete. I don't even know. What's your name? Julian. Julian. Now, where'd you get this jersey? Uh, in Barcelona, in a thrift shop. Wow. Thrift shop in Barcelona. We got FSU jerseys. It's all right. 0-2 this year. They're terrible. Rico knows. will tell you all about it. He'd probably pick them to win. Anyway, so I got my guys here from Germany. What we're going to talk about today is we have a YouTube channel. We talk about GameStop. Yeah. Have you guys are familiar with GameStop, the, yeah, the yeah. store sure. and the investment? You know, I have a lot of viewers from Germany, okay. believe it or not. So, so here he is, shilling GameStop. He literally left his... I don't even know if he lives in Santa Monica. He could have potentially dri driven or flown to Santa Monica to film himself interviewing people on the street. But, you know, some people do, you know, weird things on YouTube. But that's not the weird part. What you have to ask yourself is, who is filming the video? Well, some interesting Redditors, some highly intelligent Redditors on GME Meltdown on Reddit found some interesting things. So let's listen to this clip here of Morant's rants from this subreddit titled Recently Separated Father of Five Brags About Buying Expensive Gifts for a 17-year-old girl that he's mentoring. Hmm. Now, I'm 35 myself, okay? And I can tell you that you have no business associating with a 17-year-old girl that is not your daughter, okay? And in many states, that is even the age of majority. The implication of you talking, interacting, giving gifts to a 17-year-old, is it's very creepy, okay? I have no desire to talk to a 17-year-old. And I never will, unless it's my daughter. So let's go ahead and listen to what old Morantz Rants has to say about what he's doing with this uh, person that he's mentoring. I'm still waiting for that video to get produced. Santa Monica, I'm going to love it when it does. You guys will be the first ones to see it. But like I said, I'm in no rush. I don't pressure the individuals who, who edit it, letting them do their creativity to it. That's what I'm here for. I'm allowing another YouTuber to hone in on their craft via my content and my info. That's what I'm doing. Oh, how generous. He's just helping another YouTuber hone in on their craft. What a, what a generous guy. And I believe in that other YouTuber so much that I bought them a camera. I bought them a lot of stuff to get them on, you know, get them rolling. It was, I didn't buy it. Think about this. I didn't buy them no DSLR camera, DSLR. I didn't buy that. I bought them a mirrorless camera. I'll let you go Google what that means. Um, I bought them the best of the best, the top of the line. Hmm, he bought her the best of the best, the top of the line. I wonder what he wants to get out of this. He just, does he just really like this YouTuber? Hmm, what could it be? Because I wanted to make sure when we make these videos or when they're doing their stuff that they can do the best. You know, I'm going to put it to you this way. It's, gonna say, it's just sad to say in a way, but it's a God's honest truth about GameStop and about my investment, about this channel. Um... I believe in this young YouTuber that I'm helping to mentor and I'm getting him. Oh, he really believes in her, doesn't he? <laughs> this is not creepy out, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, first of all, I'm not going to talk to a 17-year-old girl. Second of all, I'm not going to buy some random person a freaking hot top-of-the-line camera. Okay, that's just, it's just weird. And I'm all this stuff and, and I'm paying them to do the videos, Santa Monica video. Oh, and he's paying her. Wow, he's going all in. Hmm. Um, coming up, and they did the two Palm Springs videos, the one at the tram and the one down the streets and stuff, and it's getting better. I promise you the, the, the content's getting better. The, 
the angles, the looking, the lighting, the way we set it all up. The angles, the look. Oh, but this this does not sound good. <laughs> and bought new microphones. I did everything. I, could. I just went all out. I I spent over. He went all out for two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Not his daughter. Not like a family friend. Just some random girl. It's Inter interesting. Hmm. On one video, on the Santa Monica video, and. I don't care how much it cost, but I said, you know, I believe, I even told, told the person, I said, I believe in you. And this is why I'm gifting you this. <laughs> oh my God. I believe in you. Oh, this is so gross. <laughs> so he got confronted about this, right? And of course, our wonderful Jamie Meltdown Redditors found this little clip. Fireside chat with divorced man. Let's hear his response. To the allegations of impropriety. Uh, can you sing an A? Oh, that's there it is. There it is. Gone forever. Gone forever. These guys talking about, you know, I'm going to address this real quick. Grooming on the meltdown. You know, have you ever bought somebody a gift? Someone younger of age? Ever bought somebody a gift? Uh, yeah, my daughter. Somebody that actually cares for the craft. Or, ever bought a kid a basketball, a football? Pads paid for the paid for their whole year playing sports. No, my kids aren't old enough for that. Yeah, you guys wouldn't know the difference, man. You guys don't support a community or people. I support other YouTubers. I lift people up, but the the innuendo. They just happen to be a very young woman after divorce. Interesting. You guys put on it. You guys are disgusting. You guys are gross. You're your own cousins. You're all from the Midwest. I don't know what it is, but I can. No, you see, he's not the disgusting one spending two grand on this girl. No, you're the disgusting one for even thinking there could potentially be impropriety of a divorced man paying $2,000 and really investing in and saying he believes in a minor in some states. I'm a little creeped out here, okay? I would not buy anybody except my children and maybe my niece and nephew stuff. But I ain't buying some random freaking chick down the road equipment. Especially two grand. <laughs> wonder what my motivation would be. can already imagine. I know who you guys are because I've seen it with my own eyes. You're the, you know what's the difference between you and Kamala Harris? Nothing. You probably don't have children either. Well, I have two, so uh, that doesn't apply to me. But for you to come out here and speak that narrative to me... I'm a man of the people. I've coached over 500 kids, youth. Think about that for a second. I so I've coached people, therefore it's impossible that I could be potentially engaged in some disgusting activities. That's It's impossible. Because I like to be around kids. There's no way I could possibly be doing something untoward. I have kids. All right, so you can't, you don't have kids, so you can't call me out. What are you talking about? <laughs> look, look at his mouth. He's about to take something. I've coached over 500 kids in youth sports. And the teams are only, what, 20 to 30 max? How many years have you been thinking I've been doing youth sports? My credibility and my record is way longer than yours. And even if you coached kids, which is fine, that doesn't mean it's okay to engage in this activity where you're dumping a huge investment in a young woman. Very young. It's very suspicious. It's common sense. You, if your gut feeling is correct, he's up to something. It's pretty nasty. You're a joke, Meltdown. You let me know. Oh, by the way, Meltdown, just like James Janney's doc, the only content you have on your website is this channel. There's no other YouTubers on GameStop. You It's called the GME Meltdown. But who else is talking GameStop but me? That should tell you something. And when I referenced me wearing the helmet and then making a meme out of me, I wasn't talking about the meltdown. I was talking about Wall Street bets. That's who made the meme. That's who recorded the damn thing. It wasn't the meltdown. Yet they mischaracterized that in the documentary too. What, what else is new? <sighs> Absolutely freaking disgusting. So what do you think? Do you think he's just mentoring and spending thousands of dollars to a YouTuber he believes in? 
Or do you think there could potentially be something else going on here? Let me know in the comments below. Check out the pinned comment if you want personalized services, including tax preparation for the 2024 tax year. I am a certified public accountant with my own business, and y'all have a wonderful day. Cheers!